When we drop something into a recycling bin, we think we're doing something good for our environment and the community. But are we really? Some environmental groups are raising questions about just how much of the stuff, like those plastic grocery store bags, actually end up being recycled. Cake News investigator Pilar Pedraza teamed up with ABC News and stations around the country to find out. Each of the stations in this collaboration did part of the investigation. Single-use plastic bags are some of the hardest plastic to recycle. Big box stores and major chains say they're doing exactly that since hardly anyone else will. But our investigation showed often their efforts are more of a miss than a hit. Everything comes in plastic bags now. And those bags often end up everywhere around our city. Not having bags here would make a huge difference in our waterways, in our trees. I mean, you find plastic bags everywhere. Lori Lawrence was oh, yeah, part of the yeah, city of Wichita's yeah. plastic bag yeah. task force, looking for ways to clean up the plastic litter flying around town. Though it's now disbanded with no action from the city, she's still hopeful of change. We just had a meeting with a couple of council members yesterday mm -hmm. uh, to try to see what we need to do next. But she doesn't see recycling as a useful tool for ridding Wichita of this trash. Nobody seems to know where things go mm -hmm. and I figured they probably didn't go where we've been told they went. We wanted to find out. So we teamed up with ABC News and eight other local affiliates around the country. The plan to use GPS trackers to see what happens to the plastic bags we drop off at big box stores like Walmart and Target. We used Gorilla Glue to make sure the trackers couldn't come loose then wrapped bag within bag within bag, tying each one tightly, just to be sure. We dropped off bags at four stores around the city, two Targets, two Walmarts, one each on the east and west side. Then we waited. We should be doing everything possible. Former EPA Administrator Judith Inc. talked with ABC about how the recycling is supposed to work. Theoretically, people should be able to drop off their film plastic and the bin itself is supposed to be well marked. We did see that. Each store had an easy to locate recycling bin, though in one case there was other garbage in with the plastic bags. Then the film plastic is supposed to be sent to a plastic recycling facility to be recycled. But there are real questions whether all of that film plastic is actually sent to a recycling facility or whether it just winds up at incinerators and landfills. Out of our four trackers, two were indeed last seen near a landfill in Harper County. One was last reported at the Waste Connections Transfer Station in North Wichita. One was last seen in Malaysia. The two trackers we dropped off at Walmart's went first to International Paper Recycling. When we toured that facility for an Earth Day story on recycling last month, the plant manager told us they do handle plastic bags. Also, the plastic bags you see in that far corner are grocery bags that come from large retailers in the city. And they do a good job of gathering it. Though they don't do the actual recycling. We help them finding markets for these materials, and we've been able to do it so far. So yeah, you see, basically you're just kind of a conduit. That's correct. That's correct. So, do, you, so, do you do anything other than just accept it and move it on? Do you guys do any sorting? Or? No, no. It comes already separated. From there, one tracker moved up the turnpike to KC and on east to Chesapeake, Virginia, before finally ending up just a few days ago in Port Klang, Malaysia. The second one passed through the Waste Connections Transfer Station in Wichita, then headed down K42 to Harper County and the area of Plum Thicket Landfill. As for the two trackers we dropped off at area Target stores, one went straight to the same Harper County location near the Plum Thicket landfill. The other we last tracked at the Waste Connections transfer station. We tried to speak with Waste Connections to find out if there are any recycling or sorting operations at that facility, but got no answer from their communication department. I am calling because I'm working on a story about recycling. So we called the main operator who told us okay, they so simply collect the recyclables. Okay, so they recycle the plastic bags and stuff up in Hutchinson? The recycling happens at what may be Kansas only materials recycling facility or MRF, formerly known as Stutzman's, but now owned by Waste Connections. The plant manager told me by phone they do not recycle any plastic bags there. The bags just muck up the robotic equipment they use to sort and process the recyclables. All the plastic bags are tangled up in here. 
Lori Lawrence says that's what she saw too when the plastic bag task force toured the facility. For one thing, it gets in the equipment and yeah. it just tangles yeah, everything yeah. up. Mm -hmm. It's also a nightmare to deal with uh -huh. because he called it turbulence. Uh -huh. uh, it just flies everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it makes it 10 times harder to recycle than anything. As for where we track the plastic bags for recycling. <sighs> Does that surprise you? Not really. Not really. Not at all. I, that's what I kind of suspected. ABC reached out to Walmart and Target asking to interview them about our results and those from the other participating stations. Both declined, sending written statements instead. Walmart said it offers the recycling in store for customers who may not have any other options, adding, we are also pursuing initiatives to reduce the use of single use plastic, including plastic bags, and working with policymakers, waste management companies, nonprofits, and other retailers to reduce demand for single use plastic bags. It says so far its programs have removed over 2 billion single-use plastic bags from circulation. Meanwhile, Target said it aims to make plastic bag recycling easy for you. Its statement said, we're proud of the recycling impact we're making. Last year, we recycled nearly 24 million pounds of plastic bags and plastic film materials from our in-store recycling bins and across our store and distribution center operations. I would say to go to Dillon's because I know that those go to Trex and that they're made into porch decking that people can purchase. Um, so we know that those are being reused. And I know the people at Dillon's have done a lot of research to make sure that's what happens. And we weren't the only ones to have a GPS tracker end up in Malaysia or elsewhere overseas. To find out what happened to the rest of the 46 total trackers deployed and if any of our plastic bags actually got recycled, you can stream the full ABC News investigation, Trashed, The Secret Life of Plastic Recycling, Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on ABC News Live and later on Hulu. You can find the links at cake.com. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, investigates. And in a late breaking development to this story, the company that handles recycling now says it's removed all Walmarts and Targets from its list until it can confirm that the store drop off film and bag material is being recycled rather than landfilled or incinerated. Target declined further comment. Walmart did not respond to requests for further comment.